In February 2007, 12 students from the United Kingdom, Japan, Australia, and the Netherlands were invited, together with their teachers, to visit Aceh, Indonesia by Education International, a global union that represents more than 30 million teachers and education employees around the world. All the students were active participants in raising contributions to support the Tsunami Reconstruction Program in Aceh. For these students, this tour has been a life-changing experience. Hi, my name's Angela. I'd just like to say that I've had a, the most wonderful experience coming to Aceh to see all the um, new schools that are being built. On December 26, 2004, a massive earthquake unleashed its power off the coast of Banda Aceh, Indonesia. Fifteen minutes later, a wave 35 meters high engulfed Banda Aceh and other coastal villages. The level of destruction which struck Banda Aceh and the surrounding villages was overwhelming. It's estimated that at least 220,000 people died in Aceh, more than 20,000 being children. Approximately 2,300 teachers were killed and 1,700 schools were damaged. 100,000 homes were lost, as were the livelihoods of many people who lived along the coast. While the world's lens may have changed focus, Education International remains committed to helping the children and improving education. This is something that all member organizations can be very proud of. There have been media reports that state donations are being inappropriately used. There is no validity in any statement which associates Education International or Oxfam with such practices. On the contrary, a great deal has been achieved by EI despite the extremely difficult circumstances that surround the reconstruction process. Mr. Jerome Fernandez is implementing and coordinating the EI Oxfam Tsunami Reconstruction Program with a small staff of only six people. Education International agreed to build 28 schools in Aceh. And uh, my task was to make sure that the 28 schools were built within the time frame given to me. When he came to Aceh a few weeks after the tsunami, he had to face many challenges to meet his task. Problems of coordination, bureaucracy, duplication and overlapping of projects, lack of skilled personnel, and corruption. As all of you know, Indonesia is noted for its corruption level, and uh, it is worst off in Aceh, because there is so much money coming in, and everybody want to take a bite of the cake. The EI program is unique in respect to the fact that it provides a full package. It covers the reconstruction of 28 primary schools, including furniture and school equipment. The schools that we have built are child-friendly schools with facilities, with computers, with teachers, and uh, we are very proud that Education International can make a small contribution uh, to this catastrophe that took place. The EI program also addresses three other major difficulties the education system in Aceh is confronted with. One, supporting traumatized students and teachers through trauma counseling courses. Two, providing students who lost their parents or whose families have no means to send them to school with scholarships. Three, compensating for the loss of a whole generation of trained teachers through teacher training. Visits to a number of EI schools reinforce the importance of education. Each school visit brought with it a plethora of emotions. Entering these schools, one could not help but contemplate the tragedy that the children had suffered. I wish to tell you about what, I, what happened to me when tsunami happened. So 
The schools changed, though the stories remained the same. School populations were devastated. Children recounted moving stories of seeing family members swept away and entire families wiped out. Such disturbing imagery was very confronting. Tsunami stories, they were very heavy. I cried, so <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. A man who told uh, that he lost his whole family, that's hard to see. The inspiration the children provided to the international students was immeasurable. The idea behind organizing such a tour was to provide the international students with an opportunity to see at first hand what their money had been used for, and to witness personally the progress made in the reconstruction of schools and the impact these schools have, not only on the students, but on the Achenese community. The tour comprised visits to the EI reconstructed schools, to the barracks where tsunami victims are still living, cultural visits, a meeting with the Bureau of Rehabilitation and Reconstruction, and visits to tsunami affected areas and the housing reconstruction sites. The tour exceeded the expectations of all participants and was seen by many as a life changing experience. It's really changed me as as a person and I see things differently when I go back to Wales. Such a, a different culture and when I got to go to all the schools and the little children of ages six and, six and seven, how they can be so happy after what happened and be able to play football and really, really want to learn in a, a brand new school that Education International has made. And I think what they've done is absolutely phenomenal. This student tour has been a great success. It has provided an opportunity for young people to view the beneficial impact which well-planned, well-organized assistance based on collaboration and cooperation between people can have, even in the most difficult of circumstances. Education International's vision it was to provide our education for all by the end of uh, year 2015. Um, you cannot put a price on education. In most cases, it is not the job of trade unions to rebuild schools. But this was an exceptional situation, and extraordinary challenges need extraordinary work. This has been done here by Education International. The Oxfam Group works on development issues and uh, humanitarian disasters and of course the tsunami was enormous. Um, many of our Oxfams in 13 countries managed to receive a lot of money from the public and we have learned that the most important thing is to get life back to normal as much as possible, as quickly as possible. So we wanted the children back in school very quickly. We have worked with Education International for many years on education for all, um, a big campaign to get more money and more schools and more teachers. And also in Kosovo and other disasters, we have um, cooperated very well. We decided to, uh, to build schools in Indonesia and in Sri Lanka at the urgent request of our member organizations in the affected areas, which we visited uh, early 2005. Education International and Oxfam uh, Novib worked together closely to help achieve education for all children in 2000, by 2015, one of the most important millennium development goals. We also thought it was important to get involved to ensure that the schools would be public schools run by the public authorities. It's important to realize that the program did not just entail the construction of schools, but also teachers training and scholarship for all those children who had lost their, their parents during, during the uh, tsunami. We have received many, many uh, uh, generous contributions from member organizations, schools, uh, teachers, students, from all over the world and I want everybody to realize that these 
contributions have made an enormous difference. We believe that we are in a much better position to ensure that both in Indonesia and in Sri Lanka in 2015, indeed, all children will be able to go to school. So thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.